thanks very much for coming out, you guys, especially parents. You guys had, you did the heavy lifting in that pandemic. Yeah, you really did. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You'd, I don't know. I'd, uh, anybody else without kids? Did you guys call your, did you guys call your friends with kids during the pandemic? <laughs> oh man, just chaos. It was chaos. My buddy Ari, he was a stay-at-home dad during the pandemic. He's got a three-year-old and a five-year-old. And I would call him, and just every call was just, it, every call sounded like he'd called 911 and dropped the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and he would answer too, right? Because was, it was all day for him. And he's like, oh, dude, dude, what's up? Dude, hold on. Are you bleeding? What's going on? What's, up? what's happening? Sadie, no. Sadie, Sadie, no, 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 no. Not now. Not now. No, 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 no. Go with your sister then. Just go with your sister. Just sit for a second. Just go with your sister, buddy. Sadie, hold on. Your brother's coming. Your brother's coming. Sadie, wait up. Go with your sister. And then it's juice time. And then it's juice time. And then it's juice time. Yes, thank you. And then, we'll, or I cancel juice time. Do I have to cancel juice time? Or do I have to cancel juice time then? Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Hold on, dude. I got, <laughs> bro, I got Cheerios. I don't ever even buy Cheerios. There's Cheerios in every car I got. Sadie, wait for your brother, Sadie. Man, hold up. Dude, I'm at Whole Foods. I got to call you back. <laughs> And I would listen to the whole call. I mean, I was, he could drop the phone in his minivan. I'd be in my garage with no responsibilities. Just like, oh my God. Smoking weed, like what's gonna happen to Sadie? Tune in next week to see if Sadie gets her juice. I think I'd be a good dad. It's almost hurtful. I'm a good person. No, it's not something a good person has to say. My worst fear is getting a kid stuck in a ceiling fan. You ever do that? You're a tall guy. You never jam a kid up on a ceiling fan? <laughs> never once? Wow. What do you got? You got nice high lofted ceilings in your condo that you own? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's convenient. Nobody ever rents their ceiling fans anymore. I'm the only one. I'm the only one with six foot five inch ceiling fans. Just perfect. <laughs> and there he is, my boy. Lewis, not even born yet. He's already got a 16-inch scar above his left eye. <laughs> I think I'm a good person. Getting a kid stuck in a ceiling fan, that's a bad time to find out you're not a good person. I just don't, I think I'll adopt. Get like a 16-year-old. Yeah. You agree with me. It's a, it's a good strategy. Get, Get him across the finish line real quick. <laughs> Pick one with a scholarship, you know? <laughs> you laugh because it's a foolproof plan. I just don't ever want to have to get an infant through an airport. That looks like rock bottom. You ever see two adults at the airport just getting lapped? by one little organ grinder monkey off its leash, just <laughs> grabbing snacks and harassing federal agents. <laughs> They're just tangled up in charger cables with no words left, getting a divorce in silence, just. <laughs> fighting over whose turn it is in silence. You ever see an actually outnumbered adult at the airport? That's rock bottom. Saw a mom trying to get 
three kids through security. She just quit in her eyes. Just, <laughs> just a dead look in her eyes. She was just, she was kicking shit. She was <laughs> challenging TSA agents. She looked like she wanted to get arrested. She's like, huh? <laughs> kicking a bear through the swiper? Ma'am, you can't. Like, huh? What? Who? What? These? Yeah, they're mine. This one's got a bomb in her, huh? He's got a gun, she's got a bomb. Do we gotta go somewhere? To a, to a room with a couch? Take me to that? Yeah, I'll go. Take me to the room with a couch, where I can close my eyes for the first time in 18 calendar months. I think I'll go to the couch room now, huh? Pussy, how about the couch room? No, I did not pack my own bags. Two brown men I didn't recognize did that. <laughs> couch room now? Couch room now. 